This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Friday, October 3rd. We begin with the latest on the outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus, which has now made its way to the U.S. In the Dallas apartment where Ebola patient Thomas Eric Duncan's family is being held under armed guard is expected to be decontaminated today. Quarantine family members must also be relocated. In the meantime, United Airlines is notifying passengers on the flight with Duncan how to contact federal health officials. Now demands for safety after a high school football player in New York died on the field. It's the third death of a player in a week. 16-year-old Tom Continella died Wednesday night after suffering a head injury after a punishing hit. Members of the devastated football team, other students and teachers all gathered last night for a vigil as investigators look into what went wrong. They'll be looking at everything from the type of hit to the kind of helmets the players were wearing. Police in suburban Atlanta looking for two smash and grab robbers that led them on an unforgettable high speed chase. The robbers broke into a hardware store and stole nearly two dozen chainsaws and weed trimmers. And you see the camera here from the officer chasing them caught up. And what did they start doing? They started tossing out the chainsaws. Officer managed to steer clear of those chainsaws. The suspects ditched the car and disappeared later. And finally, a message more than four decades in the making. In the late August, a Canadian man picked up this bottle while cleaning up garbage near the highway inside a message from July 1970. He did some research and found that the woman who'd written the note she, when she was just 14 years old, grown up now, married, the woman says she's thrilled to discover that her message was delivered. The note she left in the bottle said she would grow up to be an actress or a veterinarian. She's now a hairdresser. Whatever works. <laughs> we'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Nainan. And I'm DJ Holmes. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.